Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. We are coming to you from the San Luis Obispo County Shelter, and we are full of dogs and cats that need homes, and we need you to, you know, provide those homes. Come on down <laughs> and provide those homes. Excellent. Please do. And we are going to get started with our first doggie. His name is Capulin, which is a little strange, so we mostly call him Cappy. He's wearing, it, you know, it's, I know it's January, but he's dressed up for, um, actually, Terry, you are too for Valentine's Day. Well, yeah, we got to start on that. And I cannot think of a better thing to give yourself for Valentine's Day than somebody to love. And Cappy would be perfect. He is sweet. He's just about three years old. His people couldn't keep him. They didn't have enough time for him. He does really well with the other dogs down here. He loves people. He's a lap dog, but he, he loves dogs. I mean, he's just a good dog. He's a good all-around dog. He has not one thing, not one black mark against him. Nope. Everything. He suits everybody and can fit into any situation. And he's so small. He's just a tiny little right? guy. He's been with us six weeks at this point. We want to get him out of here because he just deserves a better home than the shelter. We do our best for him, but we're not, we're not a home. So please come on down. Take a look at Cappy. His ID number is 196556. I happen to know that there are a whole lot of German Shepherd lovers out there in our community because these dogs get adopted really fast. This is a beauty. This is three-year-old neutered male Jesse. Um, very good dog. Uh, he's most German Shepherds don't really like it here at the shelter. This is not their kind of environment, so he gets antsy when he's down here. But you get him away from the shelter in another situation, and he's calm and attentive and just a wonderful dog. So German Shepherd lovers, please come out and check this young beauty. Jesse's ID number is 174322. This is Bubba. Some of you might recognize him. He has pictures run in the paper along with his friend Baby, or his, actually it's probably his daughter Baby, who we'll be seeing later. These two are about 9 and 10 years old. This is Bubba. He's about uh, 10, and their owner died. And so we are looking for homes for senior but not too senior and not senior acting at all to uh, boxer mixes that have wonderful personalities, are very loving, uh, and just need, you know, a place for the next five, six, seven years of their lives. They are great dogs. So to, in the, to add to that, Deborah, we've paid half their adoption fee, each of them half off. So if you adopt both of them, you're getting a twofer. And that's a really good deal because um, they'll come with all their shots. They'll come with a doctor's visit. They'll come with microchips. Uh, they've been spayed and neutered. So, you know, that's really a good deal. And he is a good dog who deserves... A nice place to spend the rest of his life. This is Bubba, ID number 196129. Hey, Nacho, check out my new jewelry. Where'd you get that? My person decided to put this cool tag on me. Now if I ever get lost, other people can help me get home. Gee, I better get one, too. Be responsible. Join the pack today and show your four-legged friend just how much you love them. This is Juno, and T, I cannot believe this dog is still here. I can't believe it. I don't know, she Deborah. Sometimes they just get overlooked, and they have to be featured. So we're featuring Juno right here, right now. She's volunteer's pick, which mm -hmm. means half of her adoption fee is paid. That also means that she is a dog that all the volunteers think is really special. Um, she is so good with other dogs. She's just wonderful with other dogs. She's so loving with people. She's smart. She's pretty. I absolutely adore this dog. So if and you wanted to add a dog to your family, if you have a dog already and want a companion dog, she'd be perfect. She would be wonderful. She should have other dogs to play with. And if she, she could be an only dog as long as she got some socialization time with other doggies because she does love them. Juno's ID number is 196336. Please do yourself a favor and come down here and have this dog lean on you, kiss you, and just want to be your very best friend. We all love this dog down here. This is Oreo. I know we have a lot of Border collar, Collie fans in our community, and Oreo is a great one. Um, he's very sweet. He's very lovable. He just wants to... He was a little scared when he first came, but he's really braving up um, and just... This would be somebody's wonderful companion, truly, and he's very good with other dogs as well. And we love him so much, we made him volunteers pick. There volunteers you go. Said, what dog in this kennel would we like to have for our very own if we could have one? And the vote was Oreo. So half his adoption fee is paid as volunteer pick. Yeah, that is nice. So he and Juno are both down here. Mm -hmm. They are both half off of their adoption fees. Great dogs. 
So if you want a two-year-old Border Collie that will make you proud, come meet him. Oreo's ID number is 196-767. This is Baby. Um, a little bit ago, you saw Bubba, who is probably her father. Um, again, her owner passed away, and there was, no, there was no one in the family or friends to take them. So here they are down here waiting for somebody to come adopt them. Together or apart, it doesn't matter. They both have half of their adoption fees paid. We'd love to see them go together, but if you can only take one dog, we understand that. She just needs to get into a good home. It's amazing for their age how young they are. And uh, how I've young they act. Yes, it's yes, yes absolutely amazing there's she like she's a good jogger uh we a couple of our running volunteers like to come down here and run with baby because she's a very good jogger um she's also smart she knows sit a couple of other commands as well just a really nice basically easy keeper and half the adoption fee being paid she's What's a bargain not? too bargain bargain baby's id number is 196-130 This little sweetheart came to us with a number of puppies, all of who have been adopted now, so now it is mommy's turn to get out of here. This is Marcy, wonderful, loving dog. She loves her people. She likes other dogs as long as they're mellow and kind of give her her space. So she's not really a candidate for a dog that wants to play, 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 play all the time. She wants to just kind of coexist with another one or be an only dog that just loves her people. She she's, seems to have the love down. She has the love down. She loves her squeaky toys. She loves her peoples. And she uh, was very respectful uh, and sort of scared of our office cat. So she, I think she can probably uh -huh. live just fine with cats. Marcy's ID number is 196-533. We want to get the mommies adopted, not just the puppies. This is Bogey. He is a hoot. He's a fetcher. He's just a sweet little dog. He was found out in Paso Robles, um, kind of wandering around. Since he's about nine years old, he's going to get the senior rebate, which is $35 back on the adoption fee if you adopt him. He tested great with the office cats. He is a good ball player. I think I already said that. I'm sorry. He's, he's just an really authentic tail wagger. He has not stopped wagging his tail. That's some serious tail wagon action going on there. Very socialized, loves other dogs, just a great dog. Bogey's ID number is 196-824. Look at that tail, come on. Penelope has both the best ears and the happiest smile in the entire shelter, I think. She is a darling dog. She's wildly affectionate. She likes to chase her rope toys. She's learning to chase um, balls at this point. She's very good with other dogs. Um, no cats. She doesn't do good with cats, but she's very good with other dogs. Um, Penelope, this beauty's ID number is 196-884. This is one of the cutest dogs in the shelter. This is our little man. He's absolutely adorable. Crazy about this dog. He's, he doesn't look it. We think he's about eight years old. He sure does not look to be that. But because and he doesn't he act is, it either. Not at all. But because we do think he's about eight, he um, he's, can have the uh, senior rebate. So that's $35 back on your adoption fee. Uh, so that, that kind of sweetens up that deal a little bit. But this talk about a darling little dog. Seems to be house trained, loves to be held, great on the leash. Does well with other dogs. Great Perfect little lap guy. Dog. Nice little lap dog. His <laughs> ID, he wants to play. ID number 924708. This is little man. I don't know how you sell a dog like this, T. What do you say? You say, it's, hi, I'm a puppy. This is a tough Come and get one. Me. I'm this a is play. a tough one. This is a four month old <laughs> female lab mix. What more can I say? She's a puppy. She's cute. She's darling. If you want her, come get her fast because she will not be here in a day or two, I don't think. She will not last. She will not last. Puppies in the house, not for long. ID number 197 168. Oh, and kind of a newcomer to the shelter, by the way. So if, you're lose, if you've lost your dog, she was found at Pomeroy and Los Barros in Arroyo Grande, rural Arroyo Grande. So we have your puppy, and if no one's going to come get her, then she needs to get adopted. Come on in and get her, 197168. Hey, mister, don't call the pound. I live just around the corner. Oh, man, this doesn't look good for me. If only I had some kind of ID. Uh-oh, Nacho is headed for the pound. With a visible ID, he'd be headed home. Let's all join the pack of responsible pet owners. If you love them, tag them. This little sweetie uh, came to the shelter on the uh, 16th of January, found in North County, Las Tablas in Florence. 
Somebody has to be looking for this cute little baby. This is a darling dog. We're guessing about two. I don't know. He may be a little bit younger. I'm not sure. But at any rate, this little cutie is up for adoption if nobody comes and gets him. So please come visit him. ID number 197210. We're calling this little guy Clancy, and we think he came from a really, really, really rough start. Um, he was found at Old Creek uh, and Highway 46 in rural Paso Robles. And he's starting to warm up to people quite a bit, but he just seems like he, he was emaciated. He just looks like he was treated really badly for his entire life, and we're going to try to turn that around. We are calling him Clancy, and his ID number is 197049. And if you've ever thought about being a volunteer, this is the kind of dog that needs your help the most, or one of the kinds of dogs that needs your help the most. Dogs that have been mistreated, don't know what to do with people or other dogs, and have to learn. And it's amazing how fast they come around, Deborah. It's very amazing how fast they come around. And the transformations make you feel like probably one of the best things you'll ever do in your life. 197049, this is Clancy. I'm going to try not to go on and on about Bonnie, but I so want this dog to find a home. She's another one of our mommies that came in with puppies. Her puppies are long gone, and she is still here after three months. So we need to get Bonnie out of here. This is the thing about her. She is so in tune to people. It's incredible. She is wicked smart. She looks at you right in your eye when you're trying to teach her something. She already knows sit down and shake. Uh, she probably knows other things besides that. But she looks right at you like, just tell me what I need to do. Show it, and I will do it. It's amazing, the eye contact. I haven't seen that in so many dogs for such a long time, and she's one of them. She is amazingly smart, but she's amazingly loving as well. She loves people. She's tolerant. She's dog selective is what she is. She likes some other dogs, mostly males. She would be just as happy to be an only dog probably, but with a mellow, easygoing male, she'd probably be okay as well. But she's looking for her person to just love her, not make her have any more puppies, just let her have a happy, relaxed couch potato life. And half her adoption fee is paid. And so she's a bargain as well. Three years old, approximately, ID number 195690, shelter favorite, very much loved, Bonnie. Oh, man, look at that face. Oh, brother. All right, this one was found on the 15th of January. He cracks me up. Uh, I guess he's a Roddy mix. Could me maybe some be some Dobie in there or something? Um, Palmer Avenue in Atascadero. Somebody is missing, if I may say, their wild little puppy. He's just, he's quite the little dude. Look at those feet. You're going to be a good sized boy. He looks that, like he's up to no good, Deborah. No mischief, good. Mischief, mischief. And I don't think he likes to look at that dog he's seen in the television either. This is 197197, three month old wild child puppy. Well, this is our little fat potato with legs. Look at her. We were going to call her Russet, but somebody beat us to the naming and called her Gladys. This is little Gladys. She's apparently only about six years old, but she's, she's been fed just a tiny tad too much. So Gladys needs a good home and a weight loss plan or something. Um, gosh, she's cute and she's sweet, and she's putting up with all these indignities. Very, very, what a sport. Oh, she's cute. Look at that little butter ball. Butter bean. ID number 161869. This is Gladys. Look at... <laughs> She's got more rolls than Pillsbury. Okay, Striper's big. Let's just get that up front. Right in the beginning, Striper is a big dog. He is a nice dog. Everybody loves him. He was adopted briefly by some people who wanted to protect their herd of goats, but he was bullied by the goats. So he came back. So he doesn't really want to be a guard dog. He wants to be your friend and your buddy, and he's large, and we love him. He's large, but he's so gentle. He's so him. calm. He's calm, Very calm. He's gentle. He's easygoing. He's a great dog. He's just sizable. So you have to have room in your life for a 100-plus pound dog. And who doesn't? Striper's ID number is 9358-684, oh, and probably best if you don't have goats. This is King, very sweet and loving dog, um, good on the leash, easy to walk, just a nice guy. Uh, ID number 197132, needs a good home. He's got, got some scarred up his face a little bit, but it's not bite marks or anything. What a nice dog. Hey, King. 
We're calling this dog Maddie. Um, she was found in a Tascadero. She, isn't, she was in kind of rough shape. She's doing a lot better. She's, she's quite sweet. She's kind of quirky, kind of funny. We're going to get her cleaned up, though, and looking good and, and just give her a little bit of training. But a sweet dog. I don't know exactly what happened to her, but I don't think she's had much of a, a very good life. So we've got to get her one. Maddie's ID number is 197042. Oh, what a sweet face. This is Maya, another one of our mommy dogs. Her puppies are up for adoption, and they'll probably get adopted very quickly. It's a little tougher to get the moms adopted. She's scared down here. She's, I think part of that fear, she's just been separated from her puppies that are now old enough to be adopted. So she's just really kind of scared, but she's going to be all right. She's going to make a wonderful companion for somebody. Maya's ID number is 196531. She was a good mommy to those puppies, and she'll be a good friend to you. Wait, what's that? Oh no, it's Nacho. I told him to get a pet ID tag. I hope he's okay. Our pets depend on us for their safety. Join the pack of responsible pet owners. If you love them, tag them. This is a cute little guy, little poodle mix. His name is Dexter, just about a year old, so practically still a puppy, kind of a little goofball. ID number 197113. If you need a goofball in your life, come meet Dexter. This is kind of a long-legged Toto type right here. He was found in North County um, in San Miguel, L Street, on the 15th of January. So somebody's missing their little cutie pie terrier guy. And if they're not going to come get him, then he needs to get adopted. This little cutie's ID number, 197195. He really is an adorable dog. This is the fluffiest dog in the shelter. This is absolutely adorable little 12-year-old female Pomeranian found as a stray in a Royal Grande. Um, I hope someone's looking for this dog because we think she's about 12. But if nobody comes to find her, then she needs a retirement home. She is sweet and gentle and adorable, and I love that little tongue sticking out She'll sometimes. She'll get the senior rebate, $35, back on the adoption fee. That's a deal. That is just the cutest dog. We're going to name her Dolly. Her ID number is 197143. This is a wonderful little dog. She was found as a stray in San Luis Obispo and really scared to death when she got here. But with some work from the volunteers and staff down here at the shelter, she's come around wonderfully. She loves people. She immediately wants to be on your lap, go for walks. She's a marvelous dog. She's really, really dear. Her ID number is 196873. And since we think she's 10 or 11 years old, she also is eligible for the senior rebate. Deborah, she is so soft when you pet her. She is. She's yes. got that soft, sleek black coat. Just, mm -hmm. she's a wonderful mm -hmm. dog. Again, this is Ellie, 196873. This is one of my favorite dogs in the shelter. This is little Gracie. Her half of her adoption fee has been paid because we love her so much. She's just a sweet girl. She's six or seven years old. She needs somebody to just love her, let, the, let her sit on their lap. She likes other dogs very much too. This is a fabulous, fabulous little dog. Gracie's ID number is 196784. This is Princess. She's just a year old. Her, her family could no longer keep her, and she is really scared down here at the shelter, but she's doing better. She's warming up. Um, she's just, she's really sweet. She's a loving dog who just needs to get into a good home. Um, coming along really fast. Princess ID number is 197188. Guess what we have down here at the shelter? We have puppies. These are the five babies awaiting adoption right now. They're trying to make a break for it, as you can see right there in the front. We have a mixture of females and males, all cute, all precious, and all sweet. Get down here fast. There goes one, there goes two. Who will be left in the box? So come down and get yourself a puppy. And do it fast, because as long as we have puppies in the house, we can't get anyone to look at the big dog. So come on down and get these babies. Oh, there's the little one. Here she comes. Here she comes. Uh, maybe not. Oh, they're so cute. So here I am out with one of my good friends. This is where we go walking our dogs. We get to sit on some park benches now and again. 
It was a great opportunity for you guys to come out. We need volunteers. We'd really like some more dog walkers. We're at a point now where we just don't have enough people walking the dogs, and these dogs have to stay in their kennel day in and day out, 24 by 7. These dogs really need to get out, have a little exercise, feel the grass. You can sit with them out here, socialize them. It makes them ever so much more adoptable. So if you've got any time whatsoever, we could use you down here. Bring a friend. Two of you walk dogs together. We have dogs that get along with other dogs that you can go out with together. It's a fabulous opportunity for both you and the dog. We'd love to see you down here. It's easy to be a volunteer. We're a great bunch of people. I guarantee it. You can have a lot of fun and help the dogs. Think about it. Cats, 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 cats. Yes, here we are with the cats. We're starting out with Lucy. Lucy is a beautiful torty girl. She is a senior. She's eight years old. That qualifies her for the senior rebate. That is $25 back in your pocket if you adopt Lucy. Lucy is ID number 196418. She loves neck rubs, and guess what? She is declawed. So if you l are looking for a declawed cat, or you have felt, gosh, I don't want a cat because of those claws, well, Lucy's the gal for you. Already declawed. You don't have to put another cat through the, that surgery or the expense of it. So consider Lucy. You get a senior cat rebate for Lucy, and her ID number is 196418. Next up, we've got Blue. I know you don't see any Blue here. He's a gorgeous tabby. Blue's about a year old, and his ID number is 196291. That's Blue. Well, we've got to run on tabbies today. Here we have Jasper. He's another tabby. He's a little bit older than the last cat, Blue, you saw. He is ID number 196954, and he is so well-adjusted, very confident, Jasper, ID number 196954. Looks to me like Ralphie needs a good combing. He is a long-haired cat, black and white, very handsome, and I think he could even be handsomer if he gets a comb through. Ralphie is a little older boy. He qualifies for the senior rebate. That's $35 back in your pocket if you adopt Ralphie. ID number 196897. Ralphie. And another tabby. This is Spice. Spice is a girl, just about seven months old. ID number 196995. Spice. Nacho, you're okay. Whoa, that was a close call. I could have lost my life at the pound. Well, now you have a tag. Not only a tag, but a microchip, too. Can't take any chances. No one expects their pets to get out, but they do. An ID is a lifesaver. If you love them, tag them. Say hi to Belle. Belle, as you can see, is black and white. She's a little older girl, just six years old. That's nothing for a cat. She is ID number 196888. And the volunteers say she is very mellow, which is kind of nice to have in a cat. Consider Bell 196888. Well, look at this tiger. This is Hugo. He's got those outstretched paws like he's the lion in front of the New York Public Library, if any of you know about that lion in front of the library. He is gorgeous. Look at him. Loves the camera. And the camera loves Hugo. He is a little older. He qualifies for the senior rebate. That's right, $35 back in your pocket if you adopt Hugo, a gorgeous tabby. ID number 196311. Stately, stately boy. 
Here's a volunteer favorite. This is Autumn. She is a torty, and she's got those gorgeous light green eyes, which are very, very special. She has half her adoption fee paid. We are very motivated to get her out of here, and so somebody has put up her half of her adoption fee. So that is great for you. If you come in here, you only have to pay half the fee. That's Autumn 196141. Here's a newcomer to the shelter. We found this cat on the 16th of January in Napomo on East Knotts and Avocado Road. This is a female, ID number 197213. Well, here's a very pretty girl. This is a long-haired girl. This is Tanya. She is a senior, so she qualifies for the senior rebate. So that means if you love her and take her out of here, you get $35 back on the adoption fee. She is ID number 194475. Pretty, pretty Tanya. We found this cat on the 15th of January on Mission Lane in the North County. Uh, we think this cat to be about three years old, and the ID number is 197194. Are you missing him? What have we here? It's Riker. You Maine Coon fans will love Riker because he is a long-haired tabby type, which I think looks an awful lot like a Maine Coon. He's just about two years old, and he just so happens to be the volunteer's pick. What does that mean to you? Half his adoption fee has been paid. So if you come down here and fall in love with Riker, you only have to pay half the adoption fee. That's terrific. So if, if you're interested in Riker, his ID number is 197107. Say hi to Mickey. Mickey is a female, just about a year and a half old. Mickey is fearful here at the shelter. So many of our cats come in like this, and then once the volunteers get hands on them, they kind of calm down, and they become a lot more sociable, and then they get adopted. So if you've got any time on your hand and want to spend some time with a cat, or many cats, please call the volunteer line, 781-4413, and leave your name and number, and we'll get back to you about volunteering here. It makes such a difference in the lives of these cats to get out of these small, small cages and to be petted or groomed or any socialization that you can offer. It's a life changer for them, and I hear for you too. For now, consider adopting Mickey, ID number 196936. Next up, we've got a nice long-haired cat. This is Boing. B-O-I-N-G is how she spells her name. She is ID number 197201. Pretty Boing. Well, usually we have a lot more black cats, but this is our only one today. It's a newcomer. We found this cat on the 15th of January in the North County on Mission Lane. This cat's about three years old, and its ID number is 197193. This is the best thing you can possibly do for your companion animal. Put a collar and a tag on your friend, your dog, your cat. If they get lost, they'll get brought home to you rather than being brought to a shelter or a pound where overpopulation means that somebody gets euthanized. So please protect everybody. And folks, even if you have a collar, a tag, and identification on your pet, Ask your neighbor if they do. If you see that a neighbor doesn't, please encourage them to identify their animal. It will save everybody's life and keep everybody alive. <laughs> 